YouTube. Um, I did post a video yesterday updating um, my uh, top surgery timeline. I hit six weeks post-op yesterday and I just wanted to make a video um, about the questions I'll be asking in my post-op appointment which is tomorrow. So I will be taking this list of questions with me um, and if you guys know the answers to these questions, um, feel free to let me know and post in the comments, because, um, my information has been lacking, um, with these things, so I am hoping to stop dressing the, um, nipples on my chest, um, tomorrow. Seems to me making them kind of, uh, crusty, but I did get all of the the glue came off on one side and I'm just waiting for the left side um, all that glue should come off within this next week and I'm hoping to uh, be able to shower normally I still haven't been letting the shower stream directly hit the nipple grafts um, but I I think I could it doesn't seem like they're um, not ready for it or anything, but I'm waiting for the clearing um, with my surgeon. She needs to let me know if I can do that or not. And uh, when I can do weight-bearing exercises, I have gone back to work, and so I've been doing some things that I probably um, should ask whether I am allowed to do or not, but it doesn't necessarily hurt when I lift things, but some things are... Um, too heavy for me, I'm noticing still, like, if it's too heavy for me, I just drop it, and don't even, um, attempt, so, I want to know if that's, like, going to hinder my healing, if I start doing that now at six weeks, or, um, if I can start doing that, uh, swimming, I heard you can swim at the eight-week eight mark, um, but I want to know her opinion on that and uh, her thoughts on whether salt water would be damaging to do it this early um, versus chlorine. So what kind of swimming am I going to be able to do pretty soon? Um, I haven't been swimming in like a really long time and that would be really cool. But uh, massaging the area and like scar cream, I mean like obviously I have to wait until the glue is all gone, but I want to ask about like doing one side first, is that going to make one side look better than the other <laughs> faster? But um, I do want to be able to like start rubbing out the scar tissue mm -hmm. soon because that's what um, they suggest that you do. Um, it's taken like the whole month for this glue to come off of me. I'm noticing that a lot of guys don't have uh, the glue on or like stitches or anything pretty early after their surgeries. So, um, not sure about that. But I mean, like, I feel like the glue has kept my incisions together longer, if that makes any sense. Like, I haven't had to put on um, any scar treatments or, like, any little strips to try to keep it together, because the glue's kind of been doing that for a little while, so it's just been, like, more, um, anticipation on my part, because I haven't been able to see it all, but it has been keeping it together for longer, so maybe that's, um, going to help me in the long run. Um, stretching and reaching, um, versus weight bearing like the weight bearing is fine um and i just haven't been attempting stuff that's too heavy i'll work back up to that but the stretching it kind of makes my um muscles feel really tight kind of like a spasm when i like push it past where it wants to go and like if i'm like leaning on something with both my arms if i put them back down i'm like oh that probably shouldn't have been there like that for so long, so I'm not sure what that, if that's a, like a bad feeling and I shouldn't be raising my arms still and if that'll go away on its own or if it's more like a 
physical therapy type thing. Um, they don't prescribe physical therapy for this, but I'm wondering if I should start like stretching it past where it wants to go. Cause even right he now, I feel that stretching like under the muscle under my nipple. So it's like gets really tight and then I can still feel it tight when I go back down. So, uh, don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it's not painful or anything, but, um, I just wonder if the muscle's not ready for it yet, so I will ask about that. Um, the left side still has quite a bit of fluid in it and swelling, but I've read that it takes up to three months to go away, so she might do something about that tomorrow, she may not. Um, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, if she does do, do something about it, it's going to be draining it with a needle. So I'm hoping she doesn't do that. <laughs> but we will see. Um, I also heard that your estrogen levels can um, greatly decrease after surgery because those are um, two major, um, you know, estrogen producers that you just took off of your body. So I'm having a lot more acne um, on my chest and stuff in the last uh, month after surgery. So I want to go to my main provider and get my blood work done mm -hmm. and see where both of my T and my estrogen levels are because um, I don't want to be taking too much testosterone for my heart if it like jumped up on its own or um, if the estrogen level like took a dive, you know, I want to know those things, um, and my doctor should be aware of those things as well, so I will let you know the results on those are probably going to be a few weeks out, though, so, um, it takes a while to schedule anything with my primary care provider, because he's the only, um, kind of trans specialist in the area, so I... We'll see him. I want to ask my surgeon, though, about putting um, the Retin-A cream that I have for acne on this. It's a prescription, so I don't want to, like, put medication on my chest without asking first. Um, I've also been taking 500 milligrams uh, twice a day of bromelain, and um, I haven't noticed too much of a difference on the swelling on the left side, but that's what I'm hoping will change um, by taking that. It's uh, supposed to help with a lot of things. It's like a digestive enzyme and it um, helps your cardiovascular system. It does a lot of different things. But a lot of people um, I know were saying that you could just eat some pineapple because it's, um, it is an enzyme that they get from pineapple, but I was doing some reading and they get it from the stem of the pineapple. So you can't actually, um, get a lot of bromelain from the actual pineapple, uh, fruit, because that's just the flesh, it's not the stem. So, just a little tip on that. Um, it was really cheap online, and, uh, you can take like two to four doses of it a day, um, so I may have to up that dose to see any results from it. But thanks for watching, and I will let you know um, the answers to these questions. Thanks.